How are we all doing? Hope everyone's keeping well. So I was recently down in sunny Athlone where I met uh, George Donaldson, EI7KO, and he gave me a tour of the workshop, which was very interesting. He does mainly um, CB repair and overhaul CB radios, so it makes them very nice indeed. And um, he's quite busy doing that kind of stuff at the minute. So I had a very interesting day with him, and he gave me a few TV bits, which um, were surplus to his requirements. So thanks very much, George. Or giving me a nice day out and uh, it was very interesting talking to you and uh, I hope we'll do something again in the near future. So uh, for anyone who doesn't know George, which is unlikely here, but um, I'll leave a link to George's channel in the description of this video. Anyway, today I said I'd make a quick video on something a little bit different than usual. Uh, something very sticky, something very dirty, something a bit sad, but uh, should be interesting. Uh, I don't know how it got over here. so. I don't know what's doing here, but however, I will bring the camera in and we'll have a look at it. It's this, it's an Eton FR400 uh, American Red Cross um, disaster aid radio, and it should have a wind up function on it. Uh, batteries, um, it has TV channel reception, FM, long way, uh, FM, AM, and a load of weather channels, which I think is a thing over in, in the States, something we don't have here. And it takes normal AA batteries as well, and it's very sticky, so I'm going to have to clean it. Uh, we'll see if it's working and all that kind of jazz. So I'll bring the camera down into her. There she is. <laughs> it's that sticky, you don't even want to touch it, but however. So here it is. And as you can see, it's coated in this... I think this had that kind of rubbery coating that you see in a lot of radios, which is has a lovely feel to it when it's new, but after a year or two it goes all gooey, and you see a lot of radios that are perfect, but get thrown out because they have this rubbery crap on them, and I think that's the case here, although I've never seen another one of these, so I don't know, but it's similar to what I've seen on other radios, as you can see it comes off in a... Um, chunk of goo so i'm gonna go in and get some hot soapy water take it apart and try and wash wash all this off uh, sadly the handle is broken for the generator but i've been messing around with it so if i twist it backwards and forwards we can hear the radio start to come on And it also has a siren for frightening the dog. Anyway, that's the radio. I'm going to go in and get some hot water. Right, so I'm going to strip this thing down. And try and wash all this crap off it. And it should come up fairly nice. You can see there that you can put normal 3 AAs in it and it has the little NICAD pack um, for generator storage. You can charge a phone with this as well. There's a connection there obviously you can plug that in, plug your phone in and wind it up. So they've thought of everything. Screws out, I think it is. And there's the goo holding it together. Ugh. I'll have to give me hands a good screw tonight when I go in.
Yeah, I don't know why they have to put this rubbery stuff. I never, although I haven't seen it on any new stuff lately, so maybe they've learned a lesson with it. Now, I wonder, did these come off? Or... Hmm. They don't make these things easy at all, do they? Handy how easy it is to change the rechargeable uh, pack there as well. Maybe these ends pop off first. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll find that. Yes, it has the coating there, but it hasn't gone funny. I can feel it. Cut the knobs off. Throw them into the hot water as well. Little basin of water here for it. A bit of washing up liquid, so hopefully it'll, um, it'll dissolve all this crap off handy enough. There we go. The first one wasn't as handy as that. Take the screw out for the rod area. Solder that. What I'll do is I'll just snip it to save me having to do that for now. And snip these as well, and then I can solder them up when I'm putting it back together. So it's done much of a good job now to take the the bar out. Probably the little gasket is gone, but we're not going to worry about that anyway. I'm going to be using it as an underwater radio or anything like that. Throw that in for a while, have it soaking. So it's just a matter of undoing those two screws here. Take the generator out. Certainly holding that on. There we go. It pops off. Now, what way is the board held down? Some of these screws are they holding it on? Or is it just clip? Some of these screws are holding it down. Some of them are for pulleys and things, so I don't want to undo screws that I don't need to. Anyway. 
don't want to start any milk. Yep, that's it. Then two. And we're away. It's as simple as that. Away is the speaker in. Screwed in. Glued in. Pop it off. I wouldn't call this water uh, a waterproof radio, but it's certainly rainproof or you know damp proof. Switches in there, we can leave them in place. Wait, right, we'll give it a scrub. See if we can get our clean again. I suppose we'll do this bit first. Warm soapy water seems to be doing the trick. And we probably need a few goals though. I think I nearly have to bring this into the sink in the kitchen to do it. One of the things that seems to be happening is it's just smearing the stuff around a bit and it's resetting. So I think I'll bring it all into the into the house and do it in the in the sink. And then I'll I'll do it and I'll bring it back out and we'll stick it back together. I'm sure you don't want to watch me washing the radio. Okay, so <clears throat> Quite a bit of time later, wasn't very successful trying to clean it at all because what happened was the writing started to come off and I didn't want to lose the lettering on it. So I'm going to say it's, it's still sticky but it's less sticky than it was. I, so that's it, at least I'm not, I can let go of it now and it's not stuck to my hand. So I'm going to bang a couple of AAs in and we'll have a listen to it anyway. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll still work now after putting it back together. No, doesn't want to work. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not sure they Checking off the list. Of Are you counting the time? Am I the one you missed? You are mine. Good receiver. Not bad at all. sound off it for the little speaker that I have. Let's try the AM. I'll turn off some of the noisy crap in here. You can put that in. That's 
so sensitive enough and I am too. It's um I think that's Manx Radio there. Radio XL, Birmingham's only 24 hour Asian radio station. Number Manx, and you listen to DJ Rena live on Radio XL's 1296 AM. 1296 AM. Yeah. Gold. Yeah, so it's very sensitive. And to be heard in the TV bands, I would say no. Extend the area and give it a hand. I think it's picking up digital TV or something. I don't know. The weather channels tend to be heard there. No. Nothing. Right, that's it. Bit of a failure, really, because it's still sticky and horrible. But however, we tried. Interesting radio, anyway. And uh, I wonder what it's doing in Ireland or where it came from. American Red Cross. Alright, thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you again in the next one. Hopefully something a bit more interesting. Good luck for now.